Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School, joined by Omafra pathologist Albert Tenuta, sir. How's it going? Excellent. Yourself? Oh, I'm pretty good. How was your summer? My summer's been busy yeah. and uh, in some ways uh, not so busy. Yeah. But it's been different, um, oh, especially yeah. when it comes to the weather. Started yeah. cool. Then it got dry, now we're really wet, and I'm interested in your perspective on, on leaf diseases, especially in corn. In corn, yeah. Um, northern corn leaf blight around this time really starts a conversation. Yeah. Should we be talking about it? Well, you know, to date, uh, corn diseases have been minimal in many cases. Uh, we've gotten good take on our inoculated trials in many of the grower fields that we've been out. It's been very sporadic, very low levels. Um, more, less so than what we've seen in the past few years. We'll actually be starting our disease survey, our corn disease survey funded through the Grain Farmers of Ontario over the next couple of weeks or so as well. And um, I don't expect to see the same levels that we've seen in other years. Particularly, we've seen some leaf rust. Yep. Um, no southern rust like we saw last year at this time. We saw the, the most southern rust that I've seen ever in Ontario. A northern corn leaf blight, very small lesions and that. Um, but that is now. And with these, as you mentioned, this continued rain that we're seeing and uh, and that that could lead us into maybe some more foliar diseases yeah. as time goes, particularly if the season ex is extended yeah. at all. Yeah. And that. More importantly, I'd be more, um, my concern with the amount of rain, the impact of that rain or wet feet, uh, wet, wet roots, the potential for stock rots yeah. maybe. That is something that we should keep an eye on under these wet conditions. And um, and so that is something growers should be looking at. You know, maybe it's a little too early right now, right. but when you start getting closer into mid-September, late September, start evaluating those um, corn plants for stock rots. You know, when you do your pre-harvest evaluation. How do you all evaluate this overall year for disease? Obviously, and with this change, and, and you know, obviously it must drive a pathologist like yourself kind of crazy, or what? is it very happy? Well, it depends on where you're on. On the corn side, it's been pretty boring, yeah. right? Yeah. On the soybean side, it's different. Um, you know, it started off, you know, soybeans as nematode and sudden death are the two big ones. Yeah. A little bit of white mold um, in those areas that had some rain early on, but overall it's been, uh, very boring on the on the corn side, which is a good thing in many cases as well. And so um, it's you know two different crops, two different situations. Yeah. What about uh, you know you know we've seen later season maturity. We had that great grain fill period last year. Um, you know, uh, who knows what we're going to see this year? But you know, the crop seems to be in pretty good condition. Uh, if we stay away from disease, yeah. uh, things are shaking up pretty good. Oh yeah, the concern was just it was so hot and dry going up to pollination and tasseling that uh, we were really concerned about that. And then the rains came in at perfect timing, right? Yeah. We had the rains through silking, through uh, fertilization, tassel, everything set up quite nicely. If you look at most of, uh, um, you know, look at a lot of the, the cobs out there, they're they're Full, they're a good size and that so you know I think we're setting up pretty well for for um, you know relatively good yields in that particular case you know those early concerns I think have been alleviated with yeah. the rains and that test weight we'll have to see what happens yeah. with the test weight because of the heat and that and uh, and if as you said if we have an extended grain fill that'll help us in terms of extending those yields right as opposed to uh, if we shorten that uh, that that grain field period, then that could have an impact on test weights and that. But from a disease standpoint, um, not a lot on the foliar mm -hmm. disease side of things. Um, be cautious about stock rots right now. Get out there and uh, do your pre-evaluation. Look down low at the at the base of the, uh, the stalks. You can do a push test where you can just mm -hmm. basically grab that plant yep. and push out on it. If it cracks or, or breaks at the base, then you know you've got some stock rots. The other thing is go down low and, and pinch off the bottoms and okay. see what's going on. Yep. And, and just cut them up. Awesome. Hey, thank you for your time. Hey, it's a pleasure always, my friend. Great stuff. Take care.